Hey people, Theo here, and I'm back with more Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin. In the last episode, I started making my way through the Shrine of Mana. And hopefully, today I'm going to finish it. Hopefully. Ah, you bitch. One, two, three. Okay. Die. What do we get? Archdrake Mace. Let's read about that. Also, I apologize if you're going to be able to hear in the background, like, a lawnmower, because my neighbor is mowing the lawn. A mace normally issued to clerics uh, of the Archdrake sect in Lyondel of Lyondelt. The land of Lyondelt is governed by stringent laws, and those who dare defy them are punished without mercy. It is often the sinful who seek piety, spurred only by selfish desire for salvation. It's pretty long. And yeah, it's considered a great hammer. For some reason. I never used it though, so I don't know how good it is. Okay, this. Hello, old chum. Two, three, four, five. Okay. This guy's down. And singers dress and life ring plus two. So if I want to, I have life ring plus two now, which increases my health by two hundred. That's good. And a singer's dress. There it is. Dress worn by a far gone muse offers almost no physical defense, but is blessed with high resistance to magic. These enchanting singers were given song by the great dead one, dead one and have little concept of self. They live only to sing and will continue singing until they can do so no longer. Fuck it. It, it has great resistance to magic, so yeah, I'm going to be using it. I straight up don't give a damn. Oh, come on. One, two. Okay. Now, this one is just above my head is a healer. So this one won't actually attack me. Oh, you bitch. Come on. See? And healed him. Okay. Doing a tie tonight. Nice. We have an alluring skull. Fuck you. Okay. And this one, I don't think, will... I don't think this one will attack you at all. Like, it just heals. So, I'm going to kill it. Since, you know, it doesn't do anything to me. Danger zone ahead. Yeah. You really need to be careful here. So, a hero and divine blessing. There's also something there, but that's from the other side. Because if you go try to go there from this side, you will die. Ah, shit. We're at risk. Every solo. Go! Two. Three.
One, two, three. Okay, we have some souls. I think I will have enough for level up. I should. And also, you know, the SSR shot, I want to try it. Oh, wait, that's more than enough for level up. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm also wondering what else do I want. Ah, yeah, I can't level up my Estus anymore. Because we are at maximum strength already. Um, fuck it. I'm going to that strength. Um, 50, 60, 50, 60, 50, 50, 90. Let's go with that. I'm still keeping that on. Get rid of that. Okay, let's go and pay a visit to an old friend. That's speed, because I killed him. Yeah, let's pay. And pray for him to respawn. Okay, and we got some new stuff, like Smelter Demon Armor. Oh wait, uh, no, not that, not that. Um, it's showing a bit, it's showing a bit weird. Okay, I'll resolve it and now I'll come back. Actually, I don't think that I showed you this before. Just go to the bonfire item box. And you go here. And you just press Y for sword. And you either go by weight, by defense, or default positions. Now I put it back to default positions. So it should be showing. Because that affects everything, basically. I don't know why you can't do it here. It just doesn't allow me to change that here. But who cares? There we go. Now, Smelter Demon set. Basically, really good fire defense and just regular defense altogether. And the Locking Glass Knight set. It also looks pretty good, if you ask me. I would like the armor, but I don't have enough. Shit. <laughs> Mask worn by the Locking Glass Knight, made of metal, but his high lightning defense. Those who wish to serve the knight and the king as loyal warriors must take the king's passage and face the looking glass knight those who fail the test are sacrificed by the merciless spectacular monstrosity helm of, of the smelt demon the a great mass of iron that was given life high fire defense the old iron king was possessed by a great bounty of ore but was Incinerated by a creature that rose from the infernal depths of the earth. Huh. Do I really not have any souls that I can use? Last giant, pursuer, dragon rider. I got two of them, so why not? 6k. Yeah, that's enough. Come on. E. So if I want to, can I equip this? It looks okay if you're going for, let's say, like this thing. It can look okay together. The thing is the shade, and the, the shade, the color of the armor doesn't really fit much. It's just so white. Eh, kind of fits that. So, for example, that is pretty good also. Hmm.
I'll just still go with that. This. You know what? These things, let's go change them for this. There we go. Okay, let's go back. And do things. Uh, Shrine of Mana. Roy's... Place? What? Was the name of the spawn fire? Roy's resting place. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, but yeah, that's what you need to be careful of. That because that destroys whatever you are wearing. Armor and rings. And this big bastard lets out a ton. Dim and that should be it. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. And by that I mean it's not going to be fun. It's going to be horrible. Do we have anything that increases magic defense? That's fire defense. Petrify bleed. No, nothing. Oh, unfortunately. Okay. Let's real quick come here. Get this. Lots of Crown Knight, Green Blossom. Ow. You get invaded by an NPC. I forgot that he deals that much damage. Peculiar Hindaur. I don't know, whatever his name is. Oh, that should have hit. It's the Allstone. Lots of Proud Knight, Green Blossom. But before anything else, let's just go and get rid of these guys. I'm sorry, my lady. It needs to be done. Okay, I don't remember if that is a place where I could fall down here. I don't think so. Okay. Now. Anything else? So, Brave Warrior, Petrified Dragon Bone, Skeptic's Spice, Archery Robes and Gloves, Red Iron Twin Blade, Prow So Proud Knight. The Red Iron Twin Blade is a beast of a weapon. It only has a skeleton strength, which is B. As you can see, it's cool as hell. And it's a weapon that speedrunners use, if I'm not mistaken. A twin blade with heavy blades at e on each end, more sustained to smash foes than slashing them, requires a great deal of muscle to wield artfully. 
The twin blade closely imitates the design of a foreign made weapon that has blades fixed affixed to both ends of its hilt. It is 175 endurance. Well, not endurance, but condition. It has a fuck ton of condition. But the normal twin blade has, not, has more. Okay, first thing. You need to climb. No, we don't climb. You go all the way around. To here. Which is how we can crystal soul mass. Which is this. Souls bead made more lethal with crystallization. When fire when fired, they home in on their target. Crystallization makes souls and sorceries all the more powerful. Okay. Now, let's go back to Fate's Spear. We can get rid of this for this, I think. Okay. Huh? Is there something there? Yes, you can go here. See the bitch? Huh. Okay. Life gem. Ah, uh, let's go to the boss. Woman head. Oh, the shoveled one. I guess I released her from a prison or whatever. Or just view ahead. You mean the rock? Okay. I think I'm able to summon somebody here, but I'm not sure who. Okay, let's use that. We can keep those. Put this thing on. Even though I don't... I think this boss is actually resistant to dark. I think. This boss. Demon of Song. Or Seaman of Dawn, if you want. Ow. That was kind of quick and unnecessary. Ooh, nice damage. Huh? Well, what do you want? One, two. Nice. One more, and I should be able to kill him. Kill him. No. Gonna need one more. Oh, fuck off. Really? Good thing that I survived. Oh, you bastard. Fuck off. That was bullshit, I mean, and you know it. That one hit that didn't. that. you know, didn't hit. Properly. That's the thing that killed me. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Really? A little bit backwards. Because I do want to, you know, destroy my stuff. Corrosive urn. Life gem. Okay. 
I'm just running through here. I'm not fighting. Hello. Goodbye. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Second try. Well, Seaman of Dawn. You would think that you are able to. Like, hit it. Oh, fuck off. I never once encountered that attack. In my oh, 10, 10 playthroughs of this game. Like he... This boss only ever did the twice slam down. And, you know, the big slam of his body. That's it. Well, fuck you. I'll meet you back at the boss. Okay. Let's do this again. Well... Yeah, and this attack. It also does this one. I'm waiting. This... This... And it stops here. It doesn't generally do... That attack where it goes four because I never encountered it before. Okay, one more and it should be dead. My God. I put on soul farming stuff because I don't give a damn. I'm milking every bit of soul from this boss. Bitch. Come on. I don't give a damn. Okay. One, two, three. Fuck you. Give me the souls, bitch. S uh, Semen of Dawn, soul, and key to the embedded. Which key to the meta is actually a greatsword. Yeah, it is 150 counter and 220 uh, base damage. You can't, you cannot upgrade it though. Scales with decks. A sword that opens the embedded door. Shaped like a weapon, but is in fact a key. Plunge the key into the embedded to bring a respotic... Res and to his fate, the once human embedded, realizing that he could never resist the temptation of the flesh, bound himself internally with change. Since then, he has awaited the day that somebody will find his key and bury it within his bosom. Bosom? Bosom. It just... A relatively good looking greatsword. It's a good thing for challenge runs, because since it cannot cannot be upgraded, it technically is already fully upgraded. It deals pretty good damage, even at plus zero. So yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. And this place. 
We are slowly creeping up to the location of the final piece of this build. There we go. You? I just slapped the fuck out of you. Okay. Basilisks. But also... A chest. With magic arrows. Also, yeah, if you use the Fragon Branch of Yore, which you should have several of them here by this point, you can unlock a new bonfire. Okay, uh, I was using this. This, this. Let's reset. And go up. And also, this door only opens if you're hollowed. Like, if you're not hollowed, it genuinely just won't open. That NPC poise. Ow. Given this, bitch. Okay. Now this place. You can pray here. Unless something happened. The thing is, something only happens when I think you rescue all of the Milfinito. Divine blessing. Thank you. Do you see comfort too? You poor thing. Take this at the very least. I should find something. Thank you. Also. Let's have a look down here. Ah, bitch. You are bitch made, you know that? Oh, 
Oh, he tried to backstab me. A little bastard. Okay, I'm safe for now. Ouch. How much are you going to spam that shit? Also, that is the... Oh, fuck. There's two of you now. Let me just buff myself up real quick. Ow. Ow. Bastards. Really? This is what you're going to keep doing? Okay, one's down. One more? One more, come on. Whew, close. But we did it. I don't remember if there's something down here. I will find out. Fire seed. Don't need it. I already have a mixed up pyromancy flame. Left, chest. Try left, then weapon. Be wary of woman. Pointless. Oh, here's the chest. Nothing. Ah, the manslayer. Oh yeah, the woman. Be wary of woman. Be wary of the manslayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a katana that has by itself poison on it. A katana with a terribly worn blade appears useless, but is, in fact, coated with deadly poison. This sword has claimed countless victims, and the bloodstains upon its blade have turned to poison. It's a pretty short katana, but still, a good weapon. Anything else? Try a hiding place. Nope, nothing here. Try right. Oh, there's another chest. Chest ahead. Okay, and we have a bonfire aesthetic. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode, so we don't have further ado. Further ado. Goodbye, hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Ciao!